adjacent to the playground where we were yesterday is a memorial garden that includes this sundial. There's not much sun out today, so it's not telling us the time at all. But time is very important. And we've found ways to record it and to count it over the years. Ah, did I say over the years? Years are one of our units of time. Time is something that human beings understand in a way that makes a difference. Let's think about that when we think about how Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate. Pontius Pilate was a Roman official who served in, well, maybe serve is the wrong word, but who ruled in Jerusalem and the province to the north of it in the second to early third decade of the Common Era, around the year, we would say, 30 AD, Anno Domini, year of our Lord. We speak of the Lord when we speak of time. And the reason we do that is that, again, time is one of those conditions of life that is present in the life of Jesus in a way that the pagan gods did not have to worry about it or consider it. For them, uh, everything just went on. They would be happy up on Mount Olympus forever and ever. But it was not so for the God of Israel that acted in history time and time again and spoke about what would happen and how his hand would enter and would uh, be part of all that happened to his people. And when we speak of Jesus as God incarnate, we speak of him as a human being who lived in a particular time, time and place. And here's one of the other catches that goes along with it. Pontius Pilate was not a particularly good ruler. In fact, the Romans um, had to pull him out because he was mistreating the people so badly. Uh, and to say that a Roman emperor would pull a governor out for mistreating the, the subjects of the empire um, means that it had to be very, very bad. Caligula and Nero were not especially known for their compassion. Neither was Tiberius. Jesus existed and, and his suffering was as one of the people who was on the outs with Rome. And here he was. In fact, his execution, which we're going to talk about tomorrow, his crucifixion, uh, was carried out in a way that the Romans reserved for insurrectionists and slaves. And this was ordered by Pontius Pilate, the governor of Judea. Other people would say that their gods lived way back in some sort of mythic time or only existed out in eternity. The people who follow Jesus would say that God Yes, has been from before all time and will be after time itself ceases. But who has been part of it with us. And in fact, not only in a theoretically theoretical way, we can tell you exactly when it happened. And so the Gospels begin with the birth of Jesus, Luke and Matthew. 
and Luke says in was what happened when Cy, um, yes Quirinius was governor of Syria and they all agree that Jesus death occurred when Pontius Pilate was in charge in Jerusalem before he got yanked out for cruelty as we say the creed we nail it down to a specific date later on people started uh, like in the 19th century trying to determine uh, more and more about what they call the historical Jesus with the idea that if they could just understand the details of, of life at that time they could understand better what Jesus meant when he spoke of himself as the Messiah or as a king or as the Son of Man and that's been important to understand as as part not entire not the entirety but but a big part of what Jesus understood about his own call in his own way and the only reason we can do that is because we can say hey this is when it happened there were no newspapers there's no bystander somewhere holding up a phone and, and getting it all down on video. But they could say it happened there in Jerusalem at the time of Pontius Pilate. He suffered, was crucified, dead, and buried. Oh, and three days later, time again. Three days later, he rose from the dead. Um, we'll get to that part in a couple days. For now, let's just leave it with he suffered under Pontius Pilate. 